The magic of television brings us together. The power of my dreams makes food for you and me. And look at what's happened. We have cooked an amazing bolognese. This is braised for eight hours. This is the short rib. Oh, the brisket. Oh! When we braise it really slowly for eight hours, it just breaks everything down slower, which keeps the integrity of the meats, keeps the flavor, creates a better stock. So now, I'm gonna shred this up. Just take your knife and kind of chunk this short rib up. Our brisket, the same. But the oxtail, just pull it away. Take out the bones. We don't need the bones anymore. We got this beautiful oxtail. So we're just gonna hit out all of the bone marrow. Look at all this, all the fatty bits. If you were to go and get a bolognese at a restaurant, it's gonna have like one meat. It might have like short rib or it might have, or it might just be ground. And now what we gotta do is create our sofrito. Sofrito is braised vegetables, our whole tomato, our whole onion in the pan. Now we're just gonna take our carrot and celery. We don't need our bay leaf, get rid of that. I am gonna blend these vegetables. And that is gonna be our base for making our bolognese sauce. Oh my God. That smells good. We got our sofrito. We're gonna add. Fuck this spout thing. These are the worst olive oil spouts on my show. We're gonna add just enough olive oil on the bottom of the pan to cover it. I want fresh garlic. I'm just gonna take it and smash it. We're gonna do five cloves into our olive oil. We're gonna cook this until it's nice and golden brown. This kind of cooking just really gets me going, really tweaks my nipples. And if you know me, I'm a nipple guy. All right, the garlic is browning. Now we're gonna take our sofrito. I'm gonna turn it down to low. And it's already cooked, it's already braised. So we don't have to cook it for that long of a time. Now we're gonna add three tablespoons of tomato paste. We're gonna cook out our tomato paste for a few minutes. Now, grab a food mill. This is a food mill. We're gonna add only one can of San Marzano tomatoes. And just work your tomatoes through your food mill. Canned tomatoes are great. Make sure you buy like good quality canned tomatoes. <gasps> Don't buy like the cheapest canned tomatoes that taste like shit. <gasps> oh my God. We're gonna take the short rib, the tendon, the brisket, add it all. We're gonna add our beef stock. Three ladles. We're gonna bring this up to a boil, then we're gonna turn it down low. We're gonna slowly simmer and reduce this. You don't use a lot of tomato sauce. You use a little bit of tomato paste, a little bit of the sauce. You reduce that. It's not like a red tomato sauce. This is like a brown meat sauce. We already have our fat, our really unctuous meat, but I want a little more body, a little more texture to it. So I'm gonna brown ground beef and veal. I'm still adding more meat to this. So get your pan nice and hot, and we're gonna put enough canola oil just to line the entire bottom of the pan. I do want it to have those little crunchy bits. So to achieve that, you have to do it on high heat. It is gonna be dangerous. Well, not dangerous, it could be dangerous if you're an idiot. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna clump the beef, 
because we want kind of chunks of beef. We don't want meatballs. Ow! Ow. Burn my finger. So this is really splattery. So be careful when you're doing this, okay? We're just gonna throw those right on top of the meat sauce. A little bolognese. And this is, wow, easy now. Now we're just gonna do the veal, same way. Just helping our bolognese get that much better. Turn it down low. It's slippery, okay. A lot of oil everywhere. Got a little crazy over there. 